and that was when I came across the dream from April 2019. And when I read it, it sent a chill down my spine because I realized that some of the symbolism and the things that God said in this dream were also in the book of Revelation. Thank you for clicking on this video and taking the time to listen to this. I want to share with you a wild dream that I had a couple years ago in April of 2019. At the time when I had the dream, it didn't make any sense at all and I didn't understand it. But now years later that I've actually personally read the last book of the Bible, I realized that this dream I had is straight out of the book of Revelation. So first let me tell you what happened in the dream and then I'll tell you what I think the dream may mean. So in the dream, I was in a field and there were lots of other people scattered out in this field and we were all looking up at the sky and floating in the sky looked like a diamond or some type of jewel surrounded by a rainbow colored halo. I didn't know exactly what was happening, but we could all sense that something spiritually and cosmically significant was taking place. So I asked God, what is happening? And I've never had a dream where the voice of God was so clear and distinguished like it was in this dream. And so when I asked him that question, he very clearly said, and I quote, the devil will be loose. I had no idea what that meant. So the next question I asked was, what does that mean? And what should we do? And all he said in response was stay together. After this, I remember seeing the face of a lion in the shape of a sun quickly swell towards us from the sky. It may have even been coming from the jewel with the halo or maybe even the sun. I'm not completely sure. Next thing I know, a bright white light flashes over us and the dream ends. Now, a lot of times when I wake up the next day, I usually forget the dreams I had the night before. But when I woke up from this dream, I vividly remembered what happened and all the details of what God said and what I saw. So I knew that this was a spiritually significant dream, but I had no idea what it meant. So I wrote the dream down in a journal, put it on top of my shelf, and completely forgot about it. Fast forward about a year and a half, and I had finally reached the end of my quest to read the whole Bible, which took me about four years because I am a slow reader, but it was towards the end of 2020 when I finally sat down and read the full book of Revelation for the first time. After I had read it, my mind was blown away by all the crazy stuff that was in it, so I read it again and again to try and understand it. At this point, I had completely forgot about the dream, but I was reminded of the journal on top of the shelf and felt the need to read through it. So I grabbed the journal and started going through the different dreams that were in it. And that was when I came across the dream from April 2019. And when I read it, it sent a chill down my spine because I realized that some of the symbolism and the things that God said in this dream were also in the book of Revelation, specifically chapter 20. So after I realized this, I was inspired to do some more intense research of these scriptures to try and understand them better. Revelation is an extremely confusing and controversial book and there are so many different interpretations of it that many people have so i'm not going to act like i've got it all figured out but i will tell you what i personally think based off what i've read so one similarity that i noticed is the jewel with the rainbow colored halo is very similar to chapter 4 and chapter 10. chapter 4 says behold a throne set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance and there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald and then chapter 10 says then i saw another extremely powerful messenger coming out of heaven robed in a cloud there was a halo over his head like a rainbow 
His face shined bright like the sun and his legs like pillars of fire. So here we have two examples in Revelation of a rainbow of light encircling a heavenly being. So just comparing these verses with the dream, I would say the jewel with the halo in the sky most likely represents either the throne room of God or someone from the throne room of God. As for God saying the devil will be loose, that was the weirdest part of the dream that I didn't understand until I read chapter 20. Chapter 20 says, Then I saw a mighty angel descending from the heavenly realm, holding a heavy chain and a key, the key of the deep. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent known as the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. The mighty angel threw him into the pit, locked it, and sealed it so that he could no longer deceive the nations until the thousand years were over. And here's the important part. After the thousand years are over, Satan will be let loose from his prison. Almost verbatim what God said in the dream. So after I read that, I was like, okay, this is getting kind of weird, but obviously it means God is trying to prepare his people for something or wake us up to the significance of the times. What God said afterwards was stay together, which I have not seen that quote in the book of Revelation, but maybe the Lord was just trying to emphasize that whenever this happens, whatever that may look like, we don't need to isolate ourselves and let petty offenses divide the church, but he needs us united for what is to come. As for the last part of the dream with the lion, I personally think that may represent Jesus maybe even his second coming. Like the saying, Jesus is the lion and the lamb. He first came as the lamb, but he'll return as the lion. That's my personal interpretation of it. Um, I could be wrong. Anyway, I want to go back and focus on trying to understand the devil being loosed after the thousand years, because that was the part that confused me the most. What you just watched is the first of two videos going over this dream and trying to understand it, or at least attempt to understand it based on what the Bible says. This was originally one big video, but I decided to split it in two because the second part gets a little complex and is a whole other video in itself. If you want to watch the second half where we dive deeper into the dream in chapter 20 of Revelation, Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, or if part 2 is already posted, you can go ahead and watch it now. Thanks for taking the time to listen, and have a blessed day.